The system's a robotic palletizing system that's capable of handling 20 to 30 different SKUs. It palletizes batteries anywhere from 6 inches all the way up to a little bit over 14 inches. So your lawnmower, small lawnmower batteries all the way up to big uh, diesel truck batteries. The robotic palletizer works, it starts off with uh, our conveyors actually bringing in uh, the batteries from upstream conveyors. They're inspected by a vision system which makes sure all the length, the width and heights of the batteries are exactly what we need. Uh, they'll continue down the conveyor line where it actually goes into the robotic cell. From there it enters into the row former. The, the row former will collect a certain amount of batteries based on the, the, the pattern. And then it gets pushed into the custom design end of arm tool. And then from there, it's a six-axis robot that manipulates on either side of the row former. And then it will pick up the batteries and place it onto a pallet that is fed in by a pallet dispenser. And then just build the load until it's complete and then discharge and then a new uh, pallet comes into position. Uh, it provides a lot of ergonomic and safety benefits because these batteries are heavy. So when you have two or three operators manually pulling the batteries onto pallets that can start causing back problems. They've tried to do lift tables with them, but still they have back injuries. So in order to reduce that, they have to take out the people and replace them with uh, automation. Well, on top of those initial uh, the ergonomic issues, the, another safety issue is the handling of the battery acid. You know, the batteries are filled with hydrochloric acid, so if you drop them or they have you know, they have a hole in them that we don't know about and somebody picks them up, they're going to get acid all over themselves. And as we found out, it eats right through your clothes and stuff. So. The main reason that they did the project was uh, to increase the throughput of the number of batteries they could actually palletize within a certain amount of time. Um, it actually takes approximately four or five operators to do what this robot can do. Um, by allowing the robotic system to do all the palletizing, not only do they get the added safety, but they also get faster cycle times. An extra feature on the system uh, is that with the HMI inputs on it, it'll allow the customer to create any new battery type or pattern that they need. If they have a new battery for a customer, they simply go over to the HMI, enter in all the dimensions of the batteries, and then they have to enter in the pattern build that they want to. The system does automatic changeovers to where uh, a vision system identifies what battery is nixed in the queue, and then uh, from there it will pull it from the PLC to know this is the next SKU that's the robot's going to have to build, and then it will automatically change over per that pallet pattern. 